so we left you guys at Kenny Lake when we found that chunk out of our tire. Since then, we've survived the great dip of 2020. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a huge dip in the road and Tasha didn't see it and we hit it going really fast and yeah. we're all good. It bottomed out our hitch carrier and bent some bolts, but it's everything's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I feel really bad. It's okay. Um, but since then, uh, you saw us making some calls. We did figure out a way to get our tire fixed through Costco, which is where we bought it. So pro tip, if you buy your tires at Costco and something happens to them within this like six, five year, five year, five year road hazard warranty, they'll give you a prorated price on how much wear you got out of the tire before it was damaged. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. So we are in a little place called Marino, Colorado. Yeah, I believe it's technically Marino, Colorado. The campground is called Pruitt Reservoir. And it's actually pretty cool. The water is like really low. Yeah. I don't know if that's like a thing for Colorado. Like they drought really bad in the summer because it's so arid here. But like we have watched this reservoir go go down like since we've been here. Mm -hmm, we have. Which it's is kind of crazy. Interesting in and of itself. But we should be able to get our tire fixed latest by Wednesday and then we will be off on new adventures doing new things. Yes. But for now we're here. Today is going to be a partial work day. This morning will be and then later on I think we're going to go lay out on the beach. But um other than that, you're just gonna get to see like a day in the life today. Yeah, exactly. A day see, in the life. Maybe see uh, <clears throat> some of how we use the van yeah. a little more. Yeah, so. for sure. But so we just wanted to update you guys and let you know where we're at. I think I'm gonna get to take a shower today. So uh, we'll show you how that works out. Fingers crossed. Um, and Joey really needs one, but I can't convince him to take one. And something about that smell just gets me going in the morning. <laughs> Gives me motivation to wake up. That rotting smell. Ew. <laughs> You're supposed to say, I'm kidding. Ha -ha. Oh, I'm joking. This so, is how you push the buttons. Men, take notes. Do you guys want to know how we make money on the road? Do you guys want to know what we do for work? Um, I mean... I think it's interesting, but you know, not everyone does. So let us know if that's something you want to hear about and we'll happily make a video talking about it. And if there is just anything you want to know yeah. about, just leave a comment and we can make a video on it or mention it in our next video or one way or another, we'll get you an answer. <laughs> so yes. Anyways, guys, I think we're about to dehydrate ourselves because we need water and then we'll probably have some coffee and we're going to get to work, I think, right? Yeah, I've got to get to work. We're just gonna chill on the beach and probably play fetch with the dogs since we put in a decently long work day. Probably gonna wade around in this uh, two and a half feet deep water. It's not yeah. very deep. Not very deep, yeah. but there's like a line I can see in the water and I'm wondering if there's a drop off if we go far enough. I don't know, maybe we'll find out. That smudge is still a little bit here. first experience playing in the water. They did a great job overcoming their fear. We think Pruitt Reservoir is a great place for dogs and small children because of how shallow the water is. Shaking out your laundry. Yeah. That's what happens when you say some more sandy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's the truth. Oh, look how, okay, this is gross and embarrassing, you guys, but honestly, there's so much sand in our freaking bed. I cannot she handle can't it. even. 
After shaking out all the sand of our sheets, Tasha used our outdoor shower for the very first time. How is it so far, babe? <laughs> it's good. It's nice and refreshing. Oh, hello, and welcome to cooking with Tasha and Joey. Too tall. Hello. I'm Joey Too Tall. For dinner, we just whipped up fajita tacos with onions, green bell peppers, and some seasonings. After dinner, we decided to call it a night with the camera. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling fine. I'm a little unmotivated, honestly. Really? I'm feeling super motivated. I think I just need some water. Essentials for life. Yeah, we um today is gonna be an errand day. We have to go get water. We have to go to the store and pick up some groceries because we've like gone through our groceries really quickly. Um, thinking about doing laundry, I'd like to check the prices at the laundromat before I make that decision. So we're gonna take the dogs for a walk, and then we're gonna get everything loaded up and ready, and then we're gonna go. So yeah. We're about to run into Walmart and get groceries and hose and a couple other things. And then we're gonna go get water and do laundry, maybe not in that order. So, let's do it. I dropped Tasha off at the laundromat and you can see I struggled very hard to find the water for Love Station. I don't know. I don't see like any water spigot or anything. So I went in and asked the lady at the counter and I think they kind of laughed at me. Um, she said it's across this dirt road over here. She said it's over by the dump station. So let's see if I can figure this out. What happened was I drove up here and I didn't come all the way up to this point. And so you see these plants right here? I only went as that far and those plants completely covered these spigots and everything, so I look pretty dumb going there and asking, but oh well. That's how we fill up. It's crazy, it's cool, it's free. That's the coolest part. Um, it's crazy how you can find these places that just give you water for free, and when you live in a home, you have to pay for it. I mean, it's not expensive still, but just something to think about. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go back, meet up with Tasha, and get this AC running for these puppies. It's not super hot out, but it is warm. Um, so yeah, catch up with you guys on the flip side. We ran errands, and now we're going home. A little Pruitt Reservoir it feels like home, doesn't it, Joey? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and you know, the flies from Pruitt where is, uh, the, sorry, I just, I just short-circuited. Uh, the flies from Pruitt Reservoir sure do think our van is like home. After returning to the reservoir, we got weather warnings on our phones of thunderstorms with 60 mile per hour winds and hail up to one inch in size. We're not like in the main warning zone, we're just outside of it. So like, I think we'll be fine, honestly. I think I mean, we're gonna get some rain. You do think there's gonna be rain? I would be surprised if there wasn't a little rain. We are right here off this water. About three miles away from storms on both sides. So it's raining, as you can probably hear. Oh, we're gonna have our dinner now. I do some boots and um, we will keep you guys, we will keep you guys posted on if anything else happens. So, as you guys can see, the advisory is actually gone. Well, not the advisory, but the warning. We were in a warning zone, so now there's just an advisory zone. And so we're probably pretty much safe. Uh, it looks like it moved down to the Colorado Springs area. From what I can tell, we are still getting some rain right now, but I don't think we're gonna have anything like crazy, crazy. Hopefully, there's also not been any wind, high wind reports or hail reports or large hail reports that I can see, unless I'm reading the map wrong. I feel like it's a big ordeal now because our house is like small. And on yeah, wheels, and, and on like, wheels. 
Everything isn't that it? Right here. Isn't that it though? Like the stakes are so much higher when you live, travel, work in like one little vessel. And it's like if anything happens to that vessel, it's like all jeopardized, I guess. That's the risk of van life, baby. All right, I'm gonna finish eating now. The wind's blowing hard in here from the <laughs> Max Air vent fan. It's getting crazy. This vent fan moves so much air. <laughs> this is not an ad. <laughs> we survived the great storm of 2020, Joey said. The great anxiety of 2020. <laughs> People will watch. Me. It literally oh, me. just sprinkled for just like <laughs> maybe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 15 minutes. But I mean, to be fair, there was a weather advisory and like yeah. it was storm warning till yeah. nine till to nine fair. p.m. No, we're gonna so let these puppies go outside. Oh yeah, I forgot we're like parked way over here now. It's kind of weird. Do y'all do Ooh, that? So do you, cool. if you live in a van, do you sometimes forget where you're parked and then when you like wake up or open the door, you're like, oh, because I do a lot. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Tune in next week to figure out how we resolve our tire and to explore Trail Ridge Road. If you found value in this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell button to be notified every time we post. See you then.